Hi, with your mystery again, and thank you for joining me in this second video of the three part three video series on finance for directors and executives. This is all about financial competence and financial intelligence for you. Now, if you have not watched the introduction and first video, I urge you to do that because this is sort of correlated so you can relate to what I'm going to discuss. There's a link on this particular page which will take you back to the introduction where you can get access to the first video. For now, let's go straight into this particular training. So this is all about converting complex financials into simple executive information. Three tools that directors, executives and managers must have. You must have a dashboard. Now, what do I mean by a dashboard? Have a blueprint. A blueprint which has past, present and planned. I agree management reports do give a lot of insights but then you have a dashboard with you. You need to ensure that you understand what are the triggers and what is happening to the organization before a big problem comes into the organization or if there is an opportunity you could easily capitalize and you can easily overcome a challenge if that's the case. Phase into as much real time as possible. In other words, have real time information as much as possible and have it in a form of a dashboard. And the dashboard would be so simple, like you might have sales and revenue, you might have certain expenses in place, what is the cash, what is the profit, just a few salient figures to ensure that the core flavor of the operations are taken into consideration. This will really help in the decision making process because we are moving into a phase of execution with discipline and with speed and agility to ensure that we have that competitive edge. So that is very important. So have this dashboard in place because it will really help you to understand and figure out whether your strategy is translating into operating activities as per your expectation. Let's move forward to the next point, which is financial interpretation and meaning. It's very important not only to get the financials, but to ensure there is this interpretation. So you must make sure that ask for more information not only about the financials alone, but what does this really mean? For example, if you're in the manufacturing sector, you got a gross profit margin, which is falling, you need to understand what is happening. In other words, there seems to be lack of unified correlated targets or a couple of your machines which have gone down. What is really happening? What has caused the gross profit to shrink slightly or have the sales gone down? The financial interpretation is important to ensure that you can take the action needed to combat any problem. So that is very important and financial interpretation and meaning with simplicity. It has to be very simple. That is what you must ensure. And this leads me to the third point, which is have clear and current financial policies. If you have policies in place, and I'm not only talking about financial at this point, I'm also talking about having a core construct of policies in place top down. And it doesn't take so many policies, but it has so much weight in it, so long as they are current, so long as they are live, so long as they have been monitored on a consistent basis, so long as there is feedback, and so, so long as the results are aligned to what the policy language is. So work on having financial policies in place. I've got a program which has these financial policies plus other policies as well, but I'll talk to you about that in a future video. But for now, have these finance policies in place because that will have a major impact to the growth in your organization. My dear friends, in the next video, I want to share with you five strategies for growth. Look, like I say, that current conditions are so different from what they were a year ago. So everything is changing. There's massive changes taking place. And I want to share these five strategies for growth, which are financially related, and you will see the impact it can make for you and your organization. So I look forward to seeing you in the third video. Thank you very much for now.